Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how to make Koningsberger meatballs. Alright, a bit of a mouthful. This is actually an Adam Lior recipe, so I'm stealing it, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. Alright, I've got about two teaspoons worth of butter. I'm just going to put that into a small pan, or in this case a little wok, and I've got one large onion that I have grated, and uh, if you ever want to Make sure you can cry. Grating an onion is a great way to do it. All right, I'm also going to add in around about three, maybe four anchovies. Going to add a nice little funk to this dish. All right, so we're just going to uh, cook those onions down until they go translucent, and those anchovies are going to break up as we do that. All right, so we're just going to cook those off, probably about three, four minutes-ish. Once they're cooked, set them aside, let them cool down. Now I'm going to make up our liquid. It's got... Uh, around about half a cup, maybe a cup worth of white wine. And I'm just gonna cook off the alcohol in that. I'm also gonna add in uh, two, maybe three bay leaves so they can go in. And we're also gonna add in one liter of chicken stock. So uh, bring that up to a nice heat. That's gonna be our poaching liquid. Okay, might sound a little bit weird, but anyway. So get that up to some heat and then we can get on to making our meatballs. 500 grams of beef mince and make sure you drop some on the bench otherwise you are not doing it correctly and I'm also going to add in 500 grams ish of pork mince all right nice and simple so far as you can see I've got the gloves on so I'm going to get my hands in there and start getting all this mixture together all right and I'm also going to add in around about one maybe two teaspoons worth of Dijon mustard and the beauty with wearing the gloves is you can just use your thumb to get everything out about about a teaspoon's worth of salt that can go in and we're also going to add in maybe half a teaspoon's worth of black pepper this is, is not in the original recipe but believe it or not it adds to it one cup of breadcrumbs just sprinkle those around just like that you can see mrs kp is helping me there all right get those hands back in and get those breadcrumbs incorporated into all that meat add two eggs yes that is two eggs one was a double yoga all right and get all of that mixed through and that's going to help bind our meatballs it's going to be cooked a little bit differently to your normal meatball all right now let's keep mixing that through just like that now it's time to make up our meatballs and of course I use my ice cream scoop for that. So get an ice cream scoop, put it onto your hand, give that a bit of a roll between your palms like that and compress it just a little bit and we'll end up with some beautiful little meatballs. I'm not going to cook up all of this mince. This recipe is actually for a good fall type serving. Um, recipe but it uh, sort of works out for two people as well all right we've got our liquid at a sort of simmer and we're going to poach those meatballs off for around about 10 to 15 minutes so throw a timer on just to be on the safe side you know, you can take them out around about 12 minutes it doesn't really matter that much it sort of as long as they're cooked through nicely it's the uh, important thing so we're just going to put those in as you can see we've got a little bit of fat coming out from the uh, pork and from the uh, beef just carefully get those out and yeah they look a, little, look a little bit anemic but i'll tell you what the flavor is amazing uh, you can set those aside and just keep doing these in little batches all right now time to make up our gravy so here i've got about 80 grams worth of butter start melting that down and i'm going to add in half a cup of flour you can use plain or self-raising it doesn't really matter and we're going to make up a bit of a roux okay so just keep stirring that all together like i'm doing right there and i've got that poaching liquid off to the side we're going to use that to help make up our gravy all right so cook that flour out a little bit like i've done there and what we're going to do is slowly add our stock and wine mixture into that now add that in and stir it through and it'll start to form a nice thick gravy over a period of time now if you're um, not really quick enough to uh, to catch the, the lumps don't worry I'm going to show you a trick how to get rid of that so just keep adding your stock stir it through the flour is going to absorb it now you can see I've gone to a whisk I had a couple of lumps 
a whisk is a great way to get rid of any lumps so just keep adding your stock and uh, stir it through and try and get the bay leaves into the stock not into your sauce every now and then you will get one in just pluck it out all right here I've got three tablespoons worth of capers they're just going to go in and that's going to add a beautiful funky sourness to this dish and I'm going to add in in total around about 250 ml of sour cream okay, so just add that in like I'm doing right there about 250 ml that can go in it's going to add again a real nice creaminess to this gravy All right stir that through just like I'm doing there and it's not a very thick gravy this it's just going to be a nice sauce that is going to go with our meatballs all right I'm going to add in uh, we're going to about sort of quarter of a lemon's worth of lemon juice that's just going to tie all those flavors together all right now all we have to do now is get our meatballs and put those straight into that gravy just keep that on a nice sort of low heat and we're going to reheat those meatballs through okay it's just going to take maybe five minutes or so now in the meantime you could boil up yourself some potatoes some rice some pasta whatever you like mrs kp is going a little bit uh, old school and she's going to uh, cook up some beautiful potato wedges for us right so add your meatballs and that beautiful gravy that we've made as you can see it's not too thick a gravy but it's not too thin either and there you go Koningsberger meatballs how easy was that and i'll tell you what the flavor is amazing love to see you try and make this one at home thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it and if you like this video hit that like button helps the channel and it gives me confidence okay don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up and please share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media leave a comment i love reading and i love responding to them most of the people leaving comments are awesome all right in the meantime if you want to learn how to make something a little bit different but also on TV, just like this one, we need to come and join the family. My family, hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I've eat my Konigsberger meatballs and I will catch you next time. Bye.